In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use the new dynamic captions timing feature in Camtasia 2024. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, dynamic captions in Camtasia 2024 have been a game changer for social media video creators because you can create fancy caption videos super fast. I'll show you how to use the new timing feature in your dynamic captions workflow. Let's begin and I'll begin by importing my media. Just choose any video right here and then I'll just add it to my timeline here. Once I add it to my timeline, I'm ready to add my dynamic captions to it. So all I need to do is just get the captions tab and if you cannot see it on the sidebar here, it's under more captions and from here you'll either land on the CCs tab or the dynamic captions. Before we begin with the dynamic captions, dynamic captions or the AI engine behind the dynamic captions supports over 50 plus languages for automatic audio transcription. So whether you're doing English, Spanish, you're covered. But I'll leave a link or more or less indicate the languages supported in the text description below. So uh, right about here, you have a couple of pre-made templates that you can work with. Let's go with the first one and just drag and drop it right here. And once I do that, you'll see some circling over here and that's the transcription that has begun. Once it's done, you'll see a new purple line here that's written zoom in to edit transcript timing and I'll need to just zoom in. And once I zoom in, you'll see individual words on the timeline right here. These are connected to the media as much as they are dynamic captions. So we have the dynamic captions layer or media and then we have the dynamic captions attached to the audio wave or the video so that you can adjust the timing. And if I play this, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to use, you can see how it looks like. Now, to change how big this is, you just click on this and then make adjustments to the box, the size of the box to how you want it to be, just move it to be at the center, and then you can play again. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use Descript's eye contact. So you can see these are more or less uh, the normal captions that you might see. But now of importance to us is the timing feature. If I play this feature, to let's assume I feel like this word feature comes in a little bit too early. I can just click on it, hold and drag to where I want it to be. Feature to see me. So you can see, let's see. Feature to see me. And then two comes in right about there. You can just click on it and drag it. And that is how you can use the timing feature. A couple of things I'd really love to see in future versions of Camtasia and more or less in updates is, for example, if this particular word is a word that I feel I should not be there, I can just click on it and delete. If I do that right now, press on delete, the whole media is going to go away. Let's undo that. And uh, that would be really uh, not of use to us. Something else I'd really love to see, and I'm almost sure they're in the pipeline, is the ability to, to add a word whether here or in the transcript feature here, just right click, add a word uh, that you feel the AI missed when it was transcribing. That would be really awesome. And then finally, in this particular scenario, for example, uh, this should be eye contact, eye, contact. eye for my eyes. Uh, I should be able to kinda either merge these two or if I make a change in one, let's say, and I want them to be like uh, one word, I should be able to do that as well. Eye contact feature. To and then finally, hopefully we can get this. Let's assume. Simulate eye contact with the camera. Let's assume a word is really, really long. So let's assume you have it here. Let's hope that in future can be able to extend it without having to move it, extend it to maybe where we want it to be. So uh, that is how you can use the new timing feature in your dynamic captions workflow in Camtasia 2024. I hope this tutorial is of value to you. Thank you so much for watching.